Hi everybody, so today we are going to continue on with stoichiometry and um, the question we're dealing with is 2014 question 11. So we're given a, a formula, a chemical equation as we usually are and generally we're asked to calculate the number of moles, calculate the volume or the mass later on and be it for a liquid or for, for a gas. Okay, so let's just start off. Um, part I, standard enough. How many moles of aluminium dichromate reacted? Okay, now, again, reading the question is often the hard part. So, aluminium, ali, ammonium, I should say, um, dichromate, which is this guy here. Okay, so we have to figure out how many uh, moles of this, okay, is there. So we write out our formula, as we always do. Number of moles equals mass over the MOR. Okay. Now, once you have the formula done, um, double check that you have everything. So, obviously, we're looking for number of moles. So, do we have the mass? We do. We have 12.6 grams. So, that's correct. We can use that. 12.6. Okay. Now, the MOR. Well, the MOR is easy enough to guess. All you have to do is get the molecular masses of your NH4 um, and don't forget to multiply that by a 2. Okay. Because anything inside the bracket must be multiplied by that number outside of it. And then two chromiums and seven oxygens. So it's actually going to be a high enough number. And I'm just going to tell you there because I don't want this video being too long. It's 252. And if we divide 252 into 12.6, you're going to get 0 0.05 moles. And that, everybody, is the number of moles of the ammonium dichromate. Okay. Um, so we have part I answered there. Great. Okay, part two. The mass of chromium trioxide formed. So that's the CO2O3. So we have to find out the mass of this. Okay. Well, separate out the two anyhow. And we're looking for the mass. So we put in our formula there again. So our number of moles multiplied by the MOR equals the mass. We see if we can use this formula. Uh, generally, we can, or we can use some version of it anyhow. So, the MOR is handy enough. Okay, we can figure out the MOR um, of CR203. And look, I'm actually just going to tell you now, just to speed things up a tiny bit, the MOR is 152. But where are the number of moles coming from? Well, we know from previous videos here that we, if we have number of moles of something over here, or even over here, it doesn't matter. Well, these numbers in front, are the ratios. So if we have 0 0.05 moles of ammonium dichromate, do we see how it's 1 is to 1? 1 is to 1. Well that must mean we also have 0 0.05 moles of your um, your oxide there, which is the chromium trioxide. So 0 0.05. And our mass is going to be 7.6 grams. And we just highlight it there a bit. So look, we have two of them answered now at this, at this moment in time. Let's move on and see what part three is going to bring us. The volume of STP of nitrogen gas um, evolved. Okay. So as soon as I hear the word volume and STP, there is one formula you're just thinking of, and it's always the same. Okay. Um, you're going back to your chapter on properties of gases, and that is volume equals your number of moles multiplied by, now if this is STP, it's going to be 22.4 litres, okay? You have to remember that number, you have to remember that number off by heart, okay? Now we're looking for the volume, obviously, so do we have the number of moles? Well, we can figure that out by using our ratio. Um, we can see here, it's 1 is to 1 again, okay? So therefore we have 0 0.05 moles. And we're going to multiply that by 22.4, and our answer is then for that, if we just plug this into the calculator, will be 1.12 litres. Okay. Last part now. 
IV. The number of molecules of water produced, and then underneath that there's a sub-question of how many atoms did this quantity of water contain. Okay, now let's start off with the first one, the number of molecules of water produced. Well, this always brings us back to our form there, for, um, in terms of Avogadro's number. So all you have to do there for that is, and it is actually it is asking you to find out the number of molecules. It is okay. So we put in our formula there. So our number of molecules. Molecules. So I can spell that right. Okay. Equals Avogadro's number. multiplied by the number of moles. Okay, and it's the same formula as the number of atoms, okay? But this time now we're looking for the number of molecules overall. So we're obviously looking for the number of molecules, so we can't fill that in. Avogadro's number we should know, because that's just a constant, 6 times 10 to the power of 23. Okay, so that's always going to be the same. And next we have to figure out our number of moles. So we're looking for the number of molecules of water. Now, we could just do a ratio. And can we see a ratio now is 1 is to 4. So that means I have 4 times as many moles for um, water. Okay. So if I start it off with 0 0.05. Okay. I multiply that by 4. And you're going to get 0 0.2 then. And then once you multiply all of that together. So that's 6 times 10 to the power of 23, you should guess 1.2 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules, and that's H2O, brackets there, grand. Okay, so we have the first part there. We have the number of molecules. Now, if we look at the question here, we can see that we have um, we have 1.2 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules and that in each molecule you have three atoms. If we count them up, we have two hydrogens and one oxygen. Okay, so we have three atoms in each um, molecule there. So therefore, all you want to do then is 3 multiplied by... 1.2 times 10 to the power of 23 okay and you want to get an answer of 3.6 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms we'll always have more atoms than we would molecules if you think about it okay oh, that one's a bit funny there I mean so 3.6 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms present, okay, and the reason being was there was, if we're looking at it, there's three atoms for every molecule, okay. So look, that's that question there answered, that's 2014 question 11. Um, look, I hope that helped guys. Um, and we're going to come across something similar to this in the next question. Okay, so I'll talk to you then.